Patriots QB just pissed off his entire team with what he did before a game while players were protesting. Just days after NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell stated that he would prefer NFL players to stand during the national anthem, many players continued their sick protest during Week 7. The entire New Orleans Saints team knelt in unison before the anthem started while Green Bay Packers players stood arm in arm while the Star Spangled Banner played. In another game, three Miami Dolphin players stayed in their locker room while the anthem was sung, and in a different matchup across the country, Los Angeles Chargers offensive tackle Russell Akung reportedly raised his fist in the air as the anthem played. Though while there are plenty of reports of these NFL players disrespecting our nation's heroes, there are some players that won't be a part of this nasty protest. New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady is one of them and what he was caught doing yesterday before the game has angered all the race-baiting players who protested that day. The NFL protests have been going on for over a year now, and there seems to be no end in sight. These anti-American NFL players continue to claim that they are protesting racial inequality all while cashing million-dollar checks and equating NFL team owners to slave owners. After months of fans voicing their frustration over these disgusting protests, President Trump entered the fray by stating that players who kneel during the national anthem should be fired, which in turn ignited the controversy swirling around the players. Instead, of these racist NFL players ending their obvious publicity stunt to appear politically relevant, they only ramped up their efforts. Week after week, more players continued to kneel or raise a single fist in the Black Power salute while the national anthem was played. But, unlike all those ungrateful players, quarterback Tom Brady is trying to make a difference by doing the exact opposite. Yesterday, the New England Patriots played against the Atlanta Falcons. But before the game began fans in the stand were able to witness what humility looks like. Tom Brady opted out of his normal pre-game routine and took the time to recognize roughly 200 military men and women that were in attendance with wide receiver Chris Hogan. Here is more from Independent Journal Review. The plan to invite the members of the military to the game was reportedly initiated by Patriots long snapper Joker Dona, who is also an active member of the U.S. Navy and special teams player Matthew Slater, according to 247 Sports. It was a small gesture, but the message from Brady was clear. The display is getting some extra attention as it stands in contrast to some NFL players who continue to kneel or sit during the national anthem in protest of racial injustice. Polls have shown many Americans find it offensive to use the national anthem as a platform for any protest. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell recently made it clear that the league wants players to stand for the national anthem, saying in a statement. Like many of our fans, we believe that everyone should stand for the national anthem. It is an important moment in our game. We want to honor our flag and our country, and our fans expect that of us. We also care deeply about our players and respect their opinions and concerns about critical social issues. The controversy over the anthem is a barrier to having honest conversations and making real progress on the underlying issues. We need to move past this controversy, and we want to do that together with our players. However, he later clarified the NFL would not punish players who continue to kneel. Tom Brady's act of kindness and respect is incredibly refreshing after watching months of constant disrespect from arrogant NFL players. It is entirely possible that the players that are still carrying on with their nasty protest may quit it after seeing that their actions are disgraceful and not welcome at all. These NFL players have the right to protest but need to pick a better venue that does not anger the majority of your fan base. The old adage of know your audience applies to this exact situation, and if they want to keep their public platform, they better start reassessing their protest. They are more than welcome to kneel make signs, and lecture people when they are out of uniform, but when they slip that uniform on, they need to adhere to their boss's rules and demands. If they don't like it, well, there's the door. Door.